So you think sustainability can't be sexy? I'm May, and I'm kind of new to this whole sustainability thing. I'm trying my best to change my everyday habits, and I realize I don't have to see it as a compromise. There's some really cool Asian brands, and I'm going to show you guys some. As you guys know, I'm a huge fashion lover and there's a huge amount of ways when it comes to production in fashion. Well, I found out that there's a way to meet in the middle, you know, and one of it is to buy pre-loved and vintage clothing. And how you can do that is go on places like Style Tribute. You don't actually have to create more ways and you get to have the clothes have a longer life cycle. The best thing about Style Tribute is that they actually come to pick up your stuff without having you do any work. If you want to sell, you know who to call. And the best thing about buying pre-love and vintage is that you don't actually have to spend that much money. You can buy like Rubato Cabali or like Chanel at a quarter of the price. Initially, I was really afraid to talk about it because I felt like I had to be this perfect environmentalist in order to have the right to even share it with my friends. And I realized that the most important step that you really need to do is just to make a baby step. And nobody becomes an environmentalist overnight. On this journey of mine, I realized of how much plastic containers are used during food delivery that it concerns me. But I'm really excited because I found out about this thing called Bear Pack. And what you can do is that you can actually get your delivery food and have it packed in a reusable Tupperware. You can arrange a pickup, or even if you have a few boxes, you can just leave it at a participating outlet and they'll have it sanitized, clean, and then you can get the service again. So I found out about this cool Bali brand called Indosol, where they actually create these slippers out of reused tires. I was honestly shocked when I saw the shoes because I was like, oh my gosh, this actually looks really nice and they're actually really comfortable. And if that isn't good enough, every slipper that is purchased, they give three meals to an Indonesian family. I mean, it can't get better than that. My sustainability journey started when I was traveling around Indonesia. I saw a lot of trash lying around and I saw people burning their trash. I realized that although we don't see anything, any of this in Singapore, we're all in deep shit. I have been really happy and learning so much on my sustainability journey. So I'm challenging you guys to join me and do little green swabs.